Hello all. In this video, I am going to explain ABL tree. ABL tree invented by Adelson, Welsky and Landis. ABL tree is also a binary search tree. It is a binary search tree. Binary search tree means all left subtree elements are less than root and right subtree elements are greater than root. In previous video, I have explained about binary search tree. Once you go through it and next, AVL tree is also a binary search tree. And in binary search tree, the disadvantage is in worst case, the time complexity it is more, means big O of n. For example, if the elements are like 10, 20, 30, 40, so if this is binary search tree, all right side right subtree elements are greater than root. If at all we want to search element 40, we have to compare with 10, 20, 30 and next 40. So worst case time complexity it is big O of n. n is number of elements in a tree. It is not balanced. We are not balancing binary search tree. In case of skewed binary tree, this is right skewed binary tree. Every element is having only right child. There is no left child. This will call it as right skewed binary tree. In case of right skewed or left skewed binary tree, the time complexity it is big of n. So, it requires more time to search the element. That is the disadvantage of binary search tree. AVL tree is strictly height balanced. Strictly height balanced tree. So, what is height balanced? Means every node is associated with balance factor. Every node is associated with balance factor. Have to calculate balance factor means left subtree height. Left subtree height minus right subtree height. So, we have to calculate for every node we have to calculate balance factor. How to calculate balance factor? Left subtree height minus right subtree height. It can be 0 or 1 or minus 1. It means that in between 1 and minus 1. So, if at all it is 0, 1 or minus 1 any value then it is called balanced. The tree is balanced. Every node balance factor is in between 1 and minus 1 then that tree is balanced tree. Otherwise it is unbalanced. If it is unbalanced we have to balance the tree. So using rotations we have to balance the tree. So AVL tree means it is also a binary search tree and it is strictly height balanced tree. For every node, we have to calculate balance factor. So, how to calculate balance factor? Left subtree height minus right subtree height. We will take one example. I will tell you how to calculate balance factor. For example, this is one tree. Uh, we will take few more uh, numbers like uh, 11. Okay, 11. Now, 11, there is no left subtree. There is no right subtree. So, the balance factor is 0. For 20 also, no left subtree, no right subtree. Balance factor is 0. We will take 12. For 12, left subtree height. See, height means this node to leaf node. The number of edges from node to leaf node in a longest path we have to take. See, 12 to 11. There is only one edge. So, left subtree height is 1 minus there is no right subtree. So, 1 minus 0, it is 1. Okay. Now, for 15, left subtree height. Left subtree, 1, 2, number of edges, 2. Left subtree height is 2. Right subtree, there is only 1 edge. So, 2 minus 1, it is 1. So, we will take one more example also. So, I am not going to write elements. 
So we will calculate balance factor of this node is 0. For this node there is no left septric. So 0 minus right septric height is 1. 0 minus 1 it is 1 minus 1. This node is 0. There is no left and right. So we will calculate for this node. Left septric height is 1. Right septric height 1, 2. So 1 minus 2 it is minus 1. Okay. Now root will calculate balance factor. Left septric height. So left septric height means the number of edges from this node to leaf node. See there are two leaf nodes. If you traverse this to this the number of edges are only 2. If we traverse from this node to this leaf node the number of edges are 3. Then which value we have to take means in longest path. See in longest path the number of edges are 3. Now in this example there is no right subtree. So 3 minus 0 it is 3. Or else if at all there is one node is there just you assume. Then 3 minus right subtree height is 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So like this we have to calculate the balance factor. Now it is unbalanced because this node height is 2. Other than 1, 0 or minus 1 then it is unbalanced. If it is unbalanced, we will see how to balance the tree. If balance factor is out of this set, see balance factor can be 1, 0 or minus 1. It is out of this set. Other than these three values, if at all it is 2 or minus 2, any value, then definitely we have to balance the tree. So there are four situations are there. We will see it. The first one it is for example the elements are 10, 20 and 30. So same like binary search tree we have to insert one by one element. First I am going to insert 10. So 10 balance factor it is 0. Next we have to insert 20. 20 is greater than 10. So right side of 10 we have to insert. Again we have to write balance factors. 20 balance factor is 0. There is no left subtree, no right subtree. For 10, left subtree. There is no left subtree. 0 minus right subtree height is 1. So, 0 minus 1 it is minus 1. It can be 0, it can be minus 1. So, it is also balanced tree. Now, insert 30. 10, 10 right it is 20, 30. 30 is greater than 10 greater than 20. So we have to insert right of 20 insert 30. Again write balance factors. 30 balance factor 0. If it is leaf node no left subtree no right subtree then balance factor is 0. For 20 there is no left subtree. So left subtree height 0. Right subtree height is 1. 0 minus 1 it is minus 1. For 10 there is no left subtree. Balance factor 0. Right subtree height 1, 2. Number of edges from node to leaf. 0 minus 2 it is minus 2. See it is not in this set. So it is unbalanced. It is not balanced. So we have to balance the tree. So why it is unbalanced? Because of adding 30. From 10 where we have added this 30 right side of 10 again right side right side right side we have added 30 so it became unbalanced now this will call it as r r rotation so in r r rotation we have to rotate left side so in right right position if we insert the any any element if we insert right right side then if at all it is unbalanced we have to rotate tree left side. Left side means you should not rotate a complete tree always the middle one goes up means the middle one becomes the root. Now 20 becomes root so left we have to rotate left means anti-clockwise anti-clockwise we have to rotate. Middle one goes up means 20 becomes root. 10 becomes left of 20 and 30 as it is it is right of 20. So trees like this we are rotating left side. Okay.
see anti clockwise we are rotating so not completely always the middle one goes up so this is left rotation means in rr rotation we have to rotate left side now again check it once is it balanced or unbalanced 10 balance factor is 0 30 is also 0 for 20 left sub tree height is 1 minus right sub tree height also 1 1 minus 1 is 0 now it is balanced so if at all in this situation it is unbalanced using rr rotation you have to rotate it left this will call it as rr rotation in rr rotation we have to rotate left side okay so this is about rr rotation we will see one, another situation uh, numbers are 30 20 and 10 now 30 is a root node always the first node is a root node now the root node balance factor is 0 now 30 i'm going to add the next element 20 20 is less than 30 left side of 30 we have to insert 20 again calculate balance factors 0 now left sub tree height is 1 there is no right sub tree 1 minus 0 is 1 now it is balanced now we will add one more element 30 20 next element is 10 10 is less than 30 less than 20 left of 20 we have to insert it is also a binary search tree same like binary search tree we have to insert but after insertion we have to check it once is it balanced or unbalanced so now i am going to write the balance factors 0 left sub tree height is 1 right sub tree height 0 1 minus 0 1 now for 30 left sub tree number of edges from node to leaf node 1 2 left sub tree height is 2 minus there is no right sub tree 2 minus 0 it is 2 see 2 is not in this set so it is unbalanced so it is unbalanced because of adding 10 from 30 which side we have added 10 left again left so this will call it as ll rotation so in ll rotation we have to rotate tree right side so means clockwise we have to rotate again same when you are going to rotate right side the middle one becomes the root now middle one means 20 20 becomes root 30 when you rotate like this 30 becomes right of 20 and 10 becomes left as it is 10 is left of 20 only only 30 becomes right we are rotating clockwise not complete tree always the middle one goes up so now again write balance factors is 0 0 again it is 0 now it is balanced this is about rr rotation ll rotation in rr we have to rotate the tree left side in ll rotation we have to rotate it right side we'll see two more situations then elements or numbers are 30 10 20 so first i am going to insert 30 balance factor 0 30 10 is less than 30 we have to insert left side so now the balance factor 0 1 minus 0 it is 1 and the next element it is 20 30 10 see 20 is less than 30 we have to insert left side again compare with the 10 now 20 is greater than 10 so right side of 10 we have to insert 20 again we'll write balance factors 0 there is no left sub tree so 0 minus 1 it is minus 1 and for 30 left sub tree these two added at left side only so left sub tree height is 1 2 minus there is no right sub tree 2 minus 0 it is 2 see it is unbalanced 30 is unbalanced because of adding 20 so from 30 which side we have added this 20 left and right side so this is lr rotation this is lr rotation so in lr rotation in rr ll rotation we have to rotate only once now we have to perform two rotations so the first one first we have to perform left rotation 
see in lr first perform left rotation then we have to perform the right rotation see listen carefully first we have to perform left when you are going to perform left rotation don't rotate root so root i am going to write as it is the remaining two elements you have to rotate left side so you have to rotate left side these two when you rotate left 20 goes up 30 left is 20 and 10 goes down 10 is left of 20 okay this is first rotation this is l rotation and next we have to perform r rotation so when you are performing the left rotation don't rotate root now we can rotate root also no right rotation when you perform this right rotation the middle one becomes the root 20 becomes root now 20 right is 30 and 20 left it is 10 so like this we have to perform two rotations in L R first perform L rotation when you are performing left rotation don't rotate root right as it is the remaining two elements rotate left side when you perform left like this when you rotate left side 20 goes up okay and next right rotation okay in right rotation the middle one becomes the root 10 30 20 10 balance factor 0 10 30 is greater than 10 balance factor of 30 is 0 and 10 is 0 minus 1 it is minus 1 and next element is 20 20 is greater than 10 right side we have to insert and 20 is less than 30 left of 30 we have to insert 20 so again we will write balance factor of 20 is 0 30 left subtree height 1 there is no right subtree balance factor is 1 and for 10 there is no left subtree so 0 minus these two added at right side only right subtree height is 2 0 minus 2 is minus 2 so it is unbalanced 10 is unbalanced because of adding 20 so which side we have added 20 right side again left side so this is r l rotation in r l rotation first perform r rotation right rotation then perform left rotation see again when you are going to perform first rotation two rotations we have to perform when you are going to perform the right rotation don't rotate root node as it is you can write root node the remaining two nodes you have to rotate right side see and then clockwise so when you rotate right side 20 goes up and next 20 right it is 30 so like this you are these two you are moving to right side clockwise means right side when you move like this 20 goes up 30 goes down so this is our rotation now i am going to perform the left rotation so when you perform the left rotation so left when you perform the left rotation now you have to rotate root also you have to consider root also now when you're performing left rotation middle one the 20 becomes root now 20 left is 10 and 20 right it is 30 now balance factors is 0 0 0 now it is balanced so these are four rotations rr rotation we have to perform only left rotation in ller you have to perform only single r rotation in lr first perform left rotation then right rotation in rl first perform right rotation then l rotation in next video we'll see how to insert elements into ava tree so when you are going to insert element also like this when you add one element you have to calculate balance factor if it is unbalanced we have to balance the tree using these rotations we have to balance thanks for watching bye